They say if we'll only avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love. Oh my God! Is it starting? No. Uh, okay, we're we're starting. Oh. <laughs> you think four episodes of Talkie Tuesday, but no. Uh. I. Last week I missed two videos in one week. Together. Oh my god, I am such a scrub. But anyway, um, I posted out this sorry no video video. Well, I don't think most of you care, but I care. And, you know, how that goes. So, what am I going to talk about today? I have no idea. Oh, last week being completely batshit insane I, Fortnite was dropped 30 minutes too early I, and I said 30 minutes too early like I wasn't screaming my head off but I I swear to god all, all ga every gamer and ever was trying to get on that server at one time server was having it server was like fuck this I'm and that was amazing <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so another thing that was happening, um, I realized I cannot record Fortnite on my potato of a computer, uh, so that was amazing, so I could barely play the game. Fortnite is very pretty and very good, but I game on a potato. So, it's not really good for me. <laughs> so, I'm playing on low settings, and still is kind of like teetering, um, low and medium on some of it, but anyway, it's, it's a little bit of lag here and there, but when recording, oh my fucking god, it would, it's going to die. And I don't know if I talked over this video before. It's six hours. I repeat, it's six hours, um, real time. So, so I guess I was like saving up this chunk of footage and I'm probably going to cut it up, like, for, through, I cut this first part off like on the hour mark like hour 30 um so i'm gonna do the two hours and then the three third hour and then fourth hour then the fifth hour and then the sixth hour and just cash out on this and um so we do have fortnite fridays but it's not gonna be a let's play it's gonna be game theories i i know i know you fucking weeb go kill yourself for copying off of game theories but it's not in that way. I I'm really passionate about the uh, the story story the story story wise. I was about to say the game story wise. So I really want to talk about the theories that I have about it, and I cannot go into that because I need a video for Friday. So if any of you can be a nice, good, good, good person and donate some footage. You'll get a shout out in your YouTube channel, your Twitter, or whatever you want in the description. I just need that dank Fortnite footage for Friday. Um, and I think by the, t by the time that this airs, it's going to be, I'm going to uh, have... Next Tuesday is going to, next talk, tu Tuesday is not going to be a talking Tuesday, it's going to be a update, a channel update, we have grown, I repeat, there is now 10 of you, um, I think it's 10 of you, or 9 of you, I don't know, eh. <laughs> and when I tell you, I wasn't surprised, I was so surprised, and most of you are my friends, and not my real life friends, my real life friends so ain't got time for that. They get enough of me every day, so it's my internet friends. So thank you guys. Uh, 
that you're here. And if you're a random, don't 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 feel alarmed. Don't feel alarmed. It's 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 okay. Here at Fear It Grows I don't know what my voiceover is doing, but it's cutting Fear more is just like cutting it out in and out for my voiceover. It's like cutting it up into little bitty pieces. I don't know what's happening. But it'll be fine, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. I'm convincing myself that everything's gonna be fine. So anyway, um, so you know, I was kind of like rushing because Thursday, I, Thursday, I just couldn't, I, I couldn't, with recording, editing, nothing, and apparently I told myself that I could do it Tuesday and Wednesday, thir and then Thursday, I said, okay, uh, I can do it Wednesday night and, and edit. Thursday morning, right? So I was like, okay, everything's gonna be okay. I could just record it Thursday, uh, I mean, like edit it Thursday morning. So, and I did a hell of a job explaining this like Thursday. I, I, I was just completely out of it. So, my girlfriend came out to her parents, who is the Catholic Church. It was fantastic, to say the least. Uh, and I'm saying fantastic in the most sarcastic manner possible. Uh, so she calls me up crying, her eyeballs out. I was like, okay, what's up? How you doing? What's wrong? So I was talking to my mom, having a jolly old good time, like normal people do. Talk to your mom. I think I fixed it. So anyway. I was just talking to my mom, and she calls me, in tears, um, so I'm like, uh, I, she texts me first, really, um, I need you, and I was like, okay, I call her, so anyway, I did a wonderful job of explaining this, if you're new to Talking Tuesday, I talk myself into circles, that's what I do, and you watch it, so, Anyway, she texts me, I call her, I go upstairs to have some privacy from my own um, Bathage church mother. Um, so I was kind of like, okay. So I'm like, what's wrong? She's crying, so like when you're, when you're really, really crying, you're just like, eh, and you're not really talking much. So. I had a sense of what was happening, but I wasn't sure. So I asked. So I asked. Um. And so she, after a few times, she told me and told me what her parents said, which was something was wrong with you, which isn't a good. Well. Okay. Parent, okay, life advice. Vera gives life advice again. When something is wrong, it, it, not wrong, shit. Uh, when your kid tells you something, something is wrong with you, shouldn't come out of your mouth. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? that like, they're agreeing with me. The birds are agreeing, okay. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm over here crying too because my girlfriend is basically the light in my dark world, and she makes me happy, and she's normally a very bubbly person. Um, so to see. And hear her like that isn't what I'm used to. And so this kicked off a lot of, um, she hasn't like texted me or taken me since. So I'm worried. So I'm talking to my mom about it, you know. As you do, when something's bothering you, you talk to your parents. So, I'm 
talking to my mom, and she's like, I was like, do you agree with her parents? And keep in mind, Allison is just my good friend. And she's like, it's still her their daughter. Uh, so I'm like, would you do the same thing? And she's like, no, I probably would have you go to therapy and we would talk about it. Um, and then I learned, um, my mom kind of thinks of being gay as a identity crisis or you can't be gay without something traumatic happening to you and if you're not used to being here um a lot of traumatic shit has happened in my life and you and I don't really think that she would be like oh you don't need therapy <laughs> uh so uh my mom has been talking about it a lot um because I'm seen moping and she's like friends they come and go after life and get over it <laughs> so I'm like oh uh, yeah get over it um yeah totally just going to get over my girlfriend just stop talking to me um and the thing is her her phone is probably taken along with everything else. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, if you're wondering how me and my mom's relationship is, it, we have a really good relationship. Um, like a really, really good relationship. She is my best friend. Um, but I, it's just a lot, um, that, because I asked her, um, when we were talking about this, are you a parent first or, or, or are you a Christian first? Meaning that. Are you, um, so are you first a Christian, I mean, uh, are you a Christian parent or a parent that is also Christian? And she said, I am a Christian first because everything, he's, God comes before everything. And that was the moment that I was like, shit. <laughs> Um, so, and she flat out asked me, are you gay? And I'm like, no, you just admitted to being the Baptist church, not going to come out to that right now. And Especially how she feels about it and how she can be borderline homophobic at times. So, I'm... It's just a, um, a very kind of uh, hard situation because um, my girlfriend came out on an accident. Yeah, on accident. So, that was great. And now I'm just like sitting here, like, uh, feeling like I'm not helping or can't, I can't do anything to help. Um, if you don't know, me and my girlfriend, we live, uh, in totally different states and countries. Um, so we are on distance and I can't take a flight to Canada every time and any time I want. If you guys want to pay, like PayPal me that uh, money to go to Canada right now, okay. It, it's alright. I'll wait. Take your money out like you didn't just spend it all on Fortnite. 
I can wait. So, I, I think this video is probably not going to show up for most of you because I'm probably going to name it uh, something with LGBTQ roots into it. So, if this video doesn't pop up or if this video is kind of like the only, only like, because, you know, how YouTube feels about LGBTQ issues. I'm I'm totally straight. <laughs> YouTube, don't worry. Um. So it, it's just, and I couldn't like bring myself to edit a video half-assed and not really enjoy what I was doing because. Who wants to watch a video where the creator is not even enjoying the time? Because to be honest, my YouTube channel isn't something where I'm like, I want to be YouTube famous. I just want to basically, this is my hobby and a space where I get to talk about things. and. I hope that I make you guys smile or laugh or um, feel relatable because um, <laughs> because YouTube was always that place where um, I went when I was sad and when I need a laugh um, and when I even really just wanted to tune out the world for a few hours and those youtubers that everyone's like oh get a real job and oh youtube is not like serious or anything or it's a waste of time or um and it's kind of pointless it's not pointless it's because even if you're making one person laugh every day or once a week or twice a week or even once a month you make someone just even smile you're doing something right and I'm not saying that to put on your heartstrings or make you want want to subscribe or um, pander you into you caring about my YouTube existence? No, I just want... <sighs> I just want to be a person that makes people laugh for a living. And not saying that I want to do... <laughs> I'm not saying that YouTube is like, I just want to make mo money from YouTube. No. It's like, uh, it's hard to explain because, yeah, you can, but it's not my motivator. Um, I always said I wanted to do something with people, uh, well, animals and people secondly, uh, to make people smile and YouTube kind of does that for me and if you haven't noticed for the past like 14 minutes of this video I was bitching about my and all that stuff um it's just a safe space for me here because yeah um and before you ask uh down below how I feel about coming out it's it's a I believe that what that everyone should be able to come out and feel comfortable and don't have to hide something like their sexuality or their gender identity or their anything from people just because they're scared that 
They might be abused or kicked out or worse. It's... But... We don't live in that kind of world. Where we're able to just scream out from the rooftops, I'm gay! And I'm proud of it! It's not realistic. And if... And it's just... But we have to remember that these situations are temporary and one day you're going to be on your own and being able to be like, I'm gay and just be gay with your girlfriend and do and your boyfriend and just dress however you want. Be able to cut your hair or um or don't have to listen to the pronoun wrong pronouns or well, I'm not gonna say that about the pronoun thing because being misgendered is kind of everywhere. But being able to correct people about it, it's gonna be well depending on what kind of person you are. <laughs> uh but coming out it can be is a very stressful situation and can be a very well it's very personal i can say um i am i am kind of like glass door closeted lesbian like Everyone knows that I am either queer or just very, 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 very teethering. <laughs> uh, because they don't know what the word queer means. Uh, so I'm just over here. Because even my mom knows. <laughs> like <laughs> She's not stupid and she wasn't born yesterday. She thinks... Yeah, she pretty much kind of like senses the gay just swelling up in me. <laughs> uh, but I am I am very out when it comes to like my close friends and my the internet clearly. I can't shut up about my les my lesbian on the internet because, you know, lesbian <laughs> um but to my mom which I consider the most per import important person in my life because she she is the most important in my life person in my life um she's my best friend she's the person I could depend on and the person that is always there for me um so i don't really want anything to damage that relationship or make her think differently about me or it's just a and before you get like oh if if she thinks differently she wasn't my best your best friend in the first place but it's more complex than that. It's not just, oh my god, you're not out. You, why aren't you out? What? And that kind of stuff. It's more kind of, it's like uh, a vegan, well, no. I was about to make the worst decision of my life. I, <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, it's kind of like how I think everyone has that one thing that they prefer not to talk about or have something about them that would make a person not like them or discriminate against them or make them 
part of a minority um, in some way, even if it's just an interest. I'm not saying go shit on your cis, white, blue, blue-eyed, blonde hair men. Don't don't go shit shit on your blue-eyed, white hair. I mean, blonde hair men, cis, that are cis. Uh, they probably have an interest that makes them. They could be like totally into uh, video games. That can make you discriminated against. Not as much these days, but, you know, or part, part in a otaku community, or just, you never know what's, what people do behind closed doors, and I don't really think that you should judge them for what they prefer not to talk about, or what they do and prefer not to talk about. As long as it's le legal and between two consenting adults, I don't think that any person can should be able to judge so what's the moral of this story um the moral of the story is just keep in mind that everyone's human no matter what they're human and we need to start remembering that black, blue, white, yellow, <laughs> gay, straight, non-binary, pansexual, boy, girl, we're all human. And we forget that. Because either we don't agree, we don't have to agree to get along, okay? Alright, let's just get that out of here. You don't have to agree to get along. So, if we stop bashing each other's lifestyles, maybe we can all just be friends. Or at least tolerate each other, because Jesus. Still, still your kid. And the scary thing is, most of the time when people don't decide not to come out, it's because of their family. People that are supposed to love them, with, no matter what, is the people that are most discriminative against sometimes. Uh, and with the racism or politics, or if you're a Donald Trump supporter, we all agree that you might not be wrapped too tight, but you're entitled to have your own life and opinion. It's and no one can force you to think any differently. So, I am just like doing like so. I, I, I don't think YouTube is gonna allow this. <laughs> because I'm talking about the homosexual agenda, I'm talking about race, I'm talking about politics this video. YouTube ain't gonna allow this. <laughs> okay, if you if you got this far, um, now you know. <laughs> and if you could see this video, if you search for it, uh, and if it comes up in, under my name, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe YouTube. You have to stop this. This is gay. <laughs> this is so gay. You should, Think of the children. <laughs> so, this was Vera Icaros. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends that this bitch is amazing, she's gay, and um, send some good vibes my way for my, for my girlfriend, and hope, and I'll update you if she ever talks to me again. And bye.